You ask me whether I would uh, spend 500, 1,000, 1,500 pounds uh, for this bottle or any of these bottles. Well, the answer is probably not. Well, a, I can't afford it, but B, I really am not inclined to, although I do have a certain sympathy towards people who are prepared to spend large sums of money for individual bottles of whiskey. There are two ways of looking at it. The first is as a collector. These, these bottles are all in very limited editions. This one, for example, is, um, was one of only 400 bottles. It's a, a Glenlivet from 1959, bottled in 2001, and never sold, never sold to the public. It was, it, ever, all these 400 bottles were made available to people for auction. They were all sold for charitable purposes, um, which makes them very desirable from a collector's perspective. So this, I would guess, is currently fetching probably in excess of £1,500, between £1,500 and £2,000 the bottle. Um, so in other words, it's, it's, it's good value. If you, you, if you paid 1500 quid for it, you'd get your money back. But the other way of looking at it, whiskey is after all made to be drunk. And the, the other, if I can turn to this one, which is one that I um, opened earlier, we can then start exploring whether it's worth spending 1,500 quid for the taste of the whiskey. And that in itself, ha itself has two aspects. The, uh, looking at a very old whiskey is very, very interesting. This whiskey made in 1959. A lot has changed at Glenlivet, has changed throughout the industry since then. And so to nose and taste a whiskey made as long ago as that, particularly against a contemporary whiskey, is most instructive. But the other side of it is whether, whether older whiskies, for which of course you pay more, are better than younger whiskies. And the answer to that is quite simply, they're not necessarily better, they're just different. I mean, there are certain whiskies, for example, if you like the f a full impact um, smoky Isla, you're better to drink it young. About 10 years is probably ideal. Uh, for the full impact of the smoke. Um, some whiskies take age better than others. Mortluck is a classic example. Springbank is a classic example. Young Springbank um, I find um, not too pleasant, but old Springbank is absolutely magnificent. Um, the, putting a price on, on age, obviously you're going to pay more for the older bottlings, as I said, but putting an, a precise price on it is frankly impossible. But I think that the key message is that they are not necessarily better, they are different.